guys, my name is Janessa. I'm the co-CEO of Simply Lobed, and I'm here for your tip of the week. This week, we're gonna be talking about the difference between micro-wedding and elopement. Now, the term elopement's been around for a long time, but micro-wedding's kind of a newer term. So we're just gonna dive in to what the differences between the two are. So for starters, the difference between an elopement and micro-wedding is gonna come down to your guest size. We at Simply Elope define an elopement as 20 guests or less, and the reason for that is that when you have more than 20 guests, you start to need some structural things in place. So elopement, 20 guests or less, micro-wedding, anything above. Now let's get deep into what a micro-wedding necessitates. So for starters, you need some decor, chairs, like I said, some more of those structural elements. And in order to have those things, you have to have a venue that can handle the amount of guests that you have. So whether your ceremony is going to be 30 people or 80 people, you need a venue size that can accommodate those number of guests. Generally, when you have that many people, not only are you going to have a ceremony in your venue, but you're going to have a reception following. That's a really unique style of place that can handle not only a ceremony, but also a reception. So when you're doing your shopping for a venue, just make sure that you have a venue that can do both. Also, I hate to break it to you, but with a micro wedding, you're just gonna be spending more money. For a micro wedding from 30 guests all the way up to 80, I would, just anticipate a, a range, a budget of between $8,000 to $10,000, which is about $150 to $200 per person. So that includes your venue, your decor, your food that you're feeding, drink if you do a hosted bar. So that's just kind of the range that I would anticipate for that number of guests. Lastly, a micro wedding is going to be challenging during the time of COVID. It's really, really difficult to social distance when you have 30 to 50 guests. So if a micro wedding is really important to you, I would just encourage you to wait. Now let's talk about eloping. Something I love about eloping is that you can elope anywhere. Think about places that are meaningful to your relationship. Where did you fall in love? Uh, where did you first meet? What are some memories that are you both really, really cherish? And can you hold an elopement there? That's the first place that I would start when thinking about your elopement. Another really cool thing about an elopement is that you can personalize. Oftentimes with micro weddings or larger weddings, you have vendors or venues that are really, really set in place and you have to abide by their rules and their guidelines. With elopement, you can personalize. Make the ceremony your own, make the venue your own. From top to bottom, you can make it your own. It goes without saying, but eloping is just naturally gonna be less stressful. You have less vendors to coordinate, less in general that you're in charge of. So microwaving versus an elopement, just anticipate an elopement being less stressful. This also goes without saying, but an elopement is just gonna be less costly. At Simply Eloped, our average package is $900. And so that kind of like formula for price per person just doesn't really count when you're talking about an elopement. And lastly, it's just the time that we're in right now. An elopement's really easy to do during the time of COVID. When you have fewer guests and you're outdoors, it's really easy to socially distance, wear masks, and therefore an elopement is just doable and palpable right now. If you're really, really set on a micro wedding and it's really important to you, but you need to get married right now, I highly encourage you to do an elopement and a micro wedding. I think that everybody understands right now that big groups just aren't a thing. And so if your heart is set on something, do that elopement now, exchange your vows in private, let your friends and family know that you did that, and then have your micro wedding down the line when things just calm down a little bit. I hope that offers some clarity on the difference between an elopement and a micro wedding. And that's your tip of the week. I'll see you next week. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.